This is a brief video demonstration of the KISS Selective Soldering SWAC online software. We begin by demonstrating how you would perform the online board scan. The operator will designate the bottom left and top right corners of the board, as you see here, and then click Start. The machine moves along its path in a serpentine pattern to capture single images and as it's doing so it stitches them together live in the upper right hand corner of the screen. The board scan is used for a visual aid once the programming is finished. The next step will be placing the beginning location of the program or the zero point against the fiducial. At the same time that the zero point is established, the software captures the fiducial image for later recall and fiducial correction. Before we begin placing sites of where flux or solder should be applied, we will set up our global settings, which are the default values the machine will use in performing these processes. We'll begin by putting down some flux points and you can see that the yellow path there indicates where the fluxer will be active and the path it's going to take. With the fluxing points completed, we'll switch over to solder mode by clicking the solder icon at the top of the screen. And you can see the overlay changes to represent the solder nozzle size that we have selected. At the end of this path, we're going to make a diagonal downward drop away from the board. So I'm selecting this final point and editing its specific parameters to tell the machine that this point needs to drop farther away from the board. This will avoid the surface mount parts and provide a clean break away from the connector. In this next section we will talk about program editing. Within the SWAC online programming, each individual path can be custom tuned to your process. Visible layers allows you to view which overlays are present on the screen. For instance, you can turn off solder, so only flux is visible for editing. Left clicking on a path will add a new point to it, at which you can adjust the path as needed. Pressing delete will also get rid of that extra point you just added to the path. Two clicks on a vertice will allow you to move the position as needed to ed edit your program. Now we can turn the solder overlay back on to adjust the solder path. With the solder overlay as a reference, we can use it to adjust individual vertices to fine tune our process. Each individual portion of the soldering process can be finely tuned and adjusted to suit your needs. Paths are infinitely adjustable to suit your program. If you left click on an entire path and right click, it will bring up the menu so you can adjust fine details. You can also do the qu jump to quick position. This will allow you to jump to a specific path where you can edit from the path menu any specific details. When a detail is changed in the process, it will change from a light pink color to a dark red for solder, 
For flux, when it changes, it will turn to a green color instead of yellow. And if you want to get rid of a specific solder path, you just press the delete key and input your new destination paths. In this next sequence, we're going to show you how to complete a dry run using the new SWAG software. When recalling an existing project, the machine will automatically adjust the rail width, the zero position, and all of the necessary startup points. This allows your operators to get to running process as quickly as possible. Now before we do a full run, we're going to select the dry run feature and execute the program. This is just a verification tool. No flux or solder will be applied during this sequence, but it shows the operator the route that the machine is going to take to execute the program. As all of the machines come standard with fiducial correction, now we're going to enable that fiducial correction and tell it that we would like the fiducial check to happen prior to the fluxing as well as prior to the soldering. This is a selectable feature for what best suits your process. With the flux complete, we'll check one more time for the solder. And you can see down in the lower left corner of the screen that they are less than a tenth of a second to do the verification. So with a single click we deactivate the dry run and we're ready to begin. As soon as the board is loaded it will do the same fiducial check you saw a moment ago and perform the fluxing operation. Then it will return to that fiducial position to check bef before solder and run the soldering routine. The green indicator on screen is showing you the position of the active tool against the board. As you have seen, using the state-of-the-art SWAC operating system will get your machine processing production rapidly and efficiently.